Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here after you hit the subscribe button. If you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my YouTube channel, my secondary YouTube channel. I greet everybody upon this evening. This here is regular conversation number 33. Regular conversation number 33, we have a topic, you know, is sex and money two major downfalls of people in the churches? You know what I mean? My subtitle would be um, people in general. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to talk about in this conversational video. Of course, mature minds, intelligent minds, intellectual, intellectual conversation minds for sure y'all know my disclaimer i'm not a pastor preacher i don't hold any type of office in the church so please do not lay claims of those titles on me we're not here to violate any type of community guidelines or any type of copyright infringement at all shout out to everybody in the chat room those who's going to check this live out right now those who want to catch it in the middle and those who's going to catch this live uh when we finish and the uploads to youtube shout out to all my moderators out there you know what i mean appreciate y'all work Shout out to all the new subscribers coming to this YouTube channel. Definitely appreciate it. Um, it's a blessing for sure with all this hard work um, going on. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate um, y'all for coming on. What's up to Henry Ross? Henry Ross says, yes and no. The main reason is not following everything that's um, in the Book of Holiness and applying to our life. We cannot treat this like some ordinary fiction book, but a true living book. I agree. You understand? I agree. You know what I mean? Um, not making an excuse or anything like that. You know, a lot of people do have addictions um, to SEX. <laughs> a lot of people got addictions to money. You know what I mean? And once again, Tony Harvin is not making an excuse. You know what I mean? For that, for those type of things. All right. What's up, the Heat? Shout out to you, Hope Ball, as well. What's up, to Sheila Davis? Johnny, what up? What up? What up? <clears throat> Cell Express says, greetings to, uh, to all. You said there are two things that make men fall. What about women? <laughs> what about the women out there? You know what I mean? You putting it on, you putting it on our, us fellas. Listen, women, they have some minds of their own too. They just more smoother with it. You know what I mean? Men are more, you seem to be more out there. You know what I mean? Women, they know how to cover it up pretty well. You yeah, know, so what about the women, man? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> What's up to um, Nicole Martin? Appreciate that. One of the channel moderators. Uh, definitely appreciate that <clears throat> to uh, Nicole Martin. Shout out to you for your work that you do on my channels. What's up to Latanya? Shout out to you. <clears throat> Hope all is well. What's up to, uh, what is that, Keisha Davis? What's up to Quanta B? Heat says, um, they both are a major downfall, especially when no one's uh, touching your sin. Mm. Wow. What's up, the classified information? It says, blessings, evening, greetings, uh, fam, our mod squad, and our gracious host. Appreciate that at classified information. What's up, the Deanna uh, Faye? <clears throat> Hope all is well. What's up, the Hayes? Blessings. Shot town What's up, Shot town <laughs> Shout out to uh, Hayes. Blessings. What up, the AG says, greetings. Appreciate that. You says, interesting topic for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, the Valerie Stewart? Hope all is well. Appreciate that at um, Classified Information for the support of this YouTube channel, uh, Tony Harvin Network. You know, it's a blessing uh, for you tuning in and supporting this YouTube channel, all right, with the super stickers and things like that, that I'm still trying to learn here on uh, YouTube. But I definitely uh, appreciate that, all right? <clears throat> Sell Express or Saul Express. He says, uh, money is money make most women fall more than SEX, but for most men, uh, is both money. So he's stating that, um, with money, that make uh, a lot of women fall. <laughs> Listen, you're about to stir something up in here, man. You know, you're about to stir something up. You know, when we when you when we say women, are we uh interpreting to more women? Excuse me, all women, 
or some women or the majority or, or what we see out here from our environment. You know what I mean? Mind you, we only in uh, a certain environment. We don't get to see the world and other cultures and traditions um, in, in person. But what we do see is over the internet and, you know, stuff like that and the, the movies and the videos and things like that. So I get it. You know what I mean? We can only go by what we see, what we hear. And, of course, our experience, you know what I mean, in dealing with, you know, certain individuals. All right. Um, what's up to DVB? Shout out to you. What's up to uh, the bear? Ernest Beard. All right. Brenda Todd says, um, I ask God to help me with my uh, addiction to sex and men you said and he has helped me uh to overcome and now i have eight years and i am learning to love myself wonderful i'm glad that we can be honest with ourselves all right listen all to all the false prophets out there don't go out and make videos like tony harvin is an innocent guy and he's talking like he's innocent i always talk about myself you know i i have my own struggles you understand this stuff is tough you know, but a, a real man can come on and have a conversation and things like that. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm not perfect. I'm not holier than thou. You know what I mean? For those out there, all the new subscribers and stuff like that, and to all those false prophets who like to slice the video up, change my narrative and whatnot. You understand? Tony Harvin is not perfect. <laughs> all right? What's up to uh, Henry Ross? He said, that's why them skittles are most uh, mostly made of men. Who says it's uh and men per perverted zealous for their own kind mm. man you going you be going in man <laughs> you be going in hard pause all right classified information says um yes please elaborate you says maybe some women others have their own bag gotta have something else to offer oh oh that was a good counter oh I, I told you going to stir something up at Express. I don't mean to instigate, but ooh, got to have something else to offer. Uh, listen, you got to you got to pop your collar on that. You got to pop your collar on that one. You understand? All right. Um, he says um, they always they always out there in the cut um, and whatnot. Yeah, I get it. You understand? I, I definitely get it for sure. What's up, the Gino P? Shout out to you. Shout out to New York. You know, AG states that not holier than thou, but with holiness cause, um, I want to see the Lord. Yeah. You know, a, a lot, like I said, a lot of people, you know, struggle in this area. You know what I mean? With, with, with the money, uh, with the SEX and stuff like that. Now, to those false prophets out there, to those people who just play in church, they, some people just play with church, but some people have struggles and they want to get right. You know what I mean? All right, you says gotta be something if Mr. Jake's hanging around. <laughs> Zesty Diddy, man, listen, Diddy is in, he's in almost everything. Man, he's trying to get away from the paparazzi. He's trying to get away from the cameras, man. I listen, I don't feel bad for him neither. You know, a lot of people read what they sell, and uh, whether he get arrested or not, ah, oh, man. The media, the social media is definitely um, getting at this man hard, for real. You understand? But I don't feel sorry for a person like that um, at all. You know what I mean? Considering, um, especially if the allegations are, are, you know, are notified and true, you know what I mean? If they convict him, I don't feel sorry for him um, at all. Uh, Express says, I mean most women. You says most worldly and so-called Christian women. Good one. He says, I see that around my country of uh, Bahamas, because if you don't have any money, they won't even give you uh, give you time of the day. Let's stir it up. <laughs> I mean, you got a good point. You got a good point out there. You understand? There's a lot of women out there. And um, if you ain't got no money, they won't give you the time of day. You understand? If if you ain't got the jewels like the rappers, you understand? <laughs> if you ain't got the money like the ball players, or or just or just fake the funk on social media. Because a lot of people do that just to try to get those type of women. You know, they fake the funk. 
at the end of the day. If a woman uh, is only focused on money, what does she have to value? If that's what it's all about <clears throat> and vice versa. You understand if a man just won SEX all day, what, what, what value is in that? You know what I mean? What value? If a woman just looking for dollars at the end of the day, of course, the man, you know, he got to make his money or whatever the case may be. Of course, he may want to spoil his uh, lady. You know what I mean? But a woman who just about a dollar, I don't get it. There's some women out there who won't uh, give a fella a chance if he worked at Amazon. They get that deep boy a chance. They get that boy on the corner selling dope a chance. Right, they give that boy who trying to aspire as a so-called rapper a chance. You understand that because they fascinated with that. Those type of women are fascinated with that type of stuff. You know what I mean? And then when it, when when those type of fellas get locked up or you know, Lord forbid, they lose their life with violence. You know what I mean? That's the type of stuff that those type of women seem to like. You know what I mean? All right. What's up, the TNT? You says not feeling bad at all for the diddler. Call him the diddler. All right. He says Puffy must be the Epstein. Never, never see either in compromising positions. <laughs> wow. What's up, the Bree? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um. He says the young crowd is being uh, to say no Diddy instead of pause now. <laughs> <laughs> ah man okay Hayes Blessing says it's a disturbing audio of him and Meek out there and you wrote a scripture 2 Timothy 3 and 2 it's an audio of Puff Daddy and Meek Mills wow that's crazy man you know I, I listen I haven't heard it I haven't heard it you understand why listen why can't these fellas just they got the money, they got the fame. Just get a you know a nice looking woman and call it a day. You understand? Get a nice looking woman, call it a day. These fellas want to get into all this extra stuff. You know what I mean? All this extra stuff. The Art Kelly's, the, the P. Diddy's, the Bill Cosby's, and whatnot. Listen, you got the money, you got the fame. You know what I mean? You got the whole package. What's wrong with just having one woman and calling it a day? You understand? I believe Omar Epps, you know, he's been married to his lady for a long time. You don't hear nothing about this fella at all. You don't, There's very few people um, in the celebrity world you don't hear about as far as, like, negativity. You don't hear about um, at all, which is respectful because they mind their business. They got their husband. They got their wife. They want to live a private life over there. They mind their own business, going to work, acting or whatever the case may be, and staying out the way. That's how it should be. Staying away from them ditty parties <laughs> and whatnot. You know, they go make their money, go home. Why can't these fellas do that? You know what I mean? All right? Appreciate that. Ed. He's blessing. What's up, the blessed bless? Shout out to you. Um, hope all is well. <clears throat> all right? Um, let me see. Uh, who I miss? The NFA says, Amen. It's all about the money. You says, Um, it's all about Jesus to me. You says, God is first and everything you do. Amen. You says, Praise God. What's up, the T Hall? Shout out to you. Appreciate that, at Bree. Um, AG says, 50 uh, cent went to Puffy's events, but leaves before the destruction. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. AG says, cost of being in the industry. Mm. The industry, you know what I mean? The, the way the way they make it look, man, is just crazy. Especially with Puffy. Of course, you know, we hear the stories about, you know, the Illuminati. We hear about these uh crazy parties and whatnot and stuff like that. My thing is, like I said before earlier, why can't these people just go to work and go home? You understand that? Go to work um, and go home. You know what I mean? SEX and money, you know what I mean? And dealing with the church is, a, is another thing. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of us, we struggle. 
A lot of us, we struggle with SEX. A lot of us struggle with uh, money, paper chasing. You understand that? Of, of course, there's nothing wrong with having money um, and things like that. But some people just love money. It seems that way. They just love it. You know, they paper chasing. That's all they think about all day is money. A lot of a lot of people, you know, even in the church, you know, from experience and stuff like that, they put money over God. That's why you see a lot of these false prophets, what they're doing. I put out a short about T.D. Jakes, how much he charged. You understand? Just to speak somewhere. Now, what real men of God is going to charge the people? Uh, I believe it was between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars. You understand that? You know what I mean? A, a real God sent preacher, they preach for free. That's it. And, and if the people want to give cheerfully to them, cool. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when somebody going in out there to a speaking engagement and they uh, require a hundred grand just to speak for an hour, you understand that? Just to speak for an hour, a hundred grand. That's uh, more than some of our salaries on here per year. So can, you can imagine, you know what I mean? Folks like that pimping the word of God. You know what I mean? All right. Um, AG states that seems like that cost is required to control them. Epstein said um, to blackmail politicians, same for Puffy. Mm. The Coleman says, I believe finance and romance is what most people want. Finance and romance. Mm. Should I mean, that's two factors um, that should be in a relationship working towards a marriage. I do agree. Two factors. But I'm, would you say... That should be the only focus, you know what I mean, in a relationship, you know, striving towards a marriage versus it just being like a part of the, the, the characteristics and the factors of that relationship. You know what I mean? Me personally, um, and I'm not saying you're not saying this, but I think, you know, I think the word of God should be the foundation uh, of a relationship marriage. You know what I mean? I think uh, a marriage, if you're building towards a marriage, it should be the foundation should be. Uh, the word of God, of course, is hard, it's tough. You know, a lot of us are stubborn, you know, whenever we get into some type of debate with somebody um, and whatnot. But that's what I that's what I think. And I believe that um, two people should, um, you know, establish their relationship or marriage on um, is the word of God for sure. All right. What's up to Khadija Reeves? Another one of my channel moderators. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Uh, Hayes Blessing says, a lot of old so-called gospel singers came in singing for the Lord, then got a taste of money and fame. Now they sing the wor worldly songs. The love of money is the root of all evil. I agree. I agree with you 100%. You know, a lot of them, you know, like you said, they taste the fame. It feels good to them. You know what I mean? To them. You know, who's to say the Lord uh, wasn't going to bless them later on down the road? But a lot of them just... Go chase after more fame and more money. You know what I mean? Because they thirsty and hungry for more fame and more money. You, you, you see the Kurt Franklins now. You see the uh, the Shirley Caesars. You know what I mean? <laughs> you see her. You know, you see the John P. Kings and whatever his name is, the T.D. Jakes um, and what have you. They chasing. It seems like they chasing for money uh, and more fame. What's up, the Jen Juice? Another one of my channel moderators. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, the bear says, he says, to be honest, it's hard to find love in the world these days because everyone is chasing the bag. Mm. It's hard to find love. You know, I agree with you. We're talking about genuine, true love. I do agree with you 100%. You know what I mean? A lot of people, uh, base love off of SEX. And I remember Gino saying that, um, who says, uh, Please do not think that sex means love. And I agree with Gino on that one. You understand that? I definitely agree with that. You know, or people uh, chasing money. They think that's what it's all about, money. Like, of course, you want to, you know, you want to establish something. You want to uh, buy a house later on in life. Of course, you got to work for it. Most definitely. You know what I mean? And, you know, two people out there or if just that one person just focusing on money. And he or she is like, man, I'm really trying to get to, I'm really trying to get to know her. You know what I mean? I'm really trying to see if we are compatible. But this woman is so busy on chasing money, I don't even have the opportunity to talk and get to know her even more. Or vice versa with the woman on, on the man. It could be like that. 
You understand? People are going to make time uh, for people who they want to at the end of the day. You understand that? So if that person is working all day and what have you, you know what I mean? It's 24 hours in a day. I, I, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I've been there before and stuff like that and um, was busy and things of that nature. And, you know, you can make time. It's just that sometimes you just don't feel like it or you don't feel the need to it. And then you never know. You might just miss your blessing because you were so busy. You were so caught up in this and caught up in that. You know what I mean? So I definitely understand that at uh, the bear classified information says 100K per speaking engagement, but snakes is still pimping um, for tithing. Mm. Wow. The code Martin says, no. Um, he says, no, it's not the only focus, but people kill, cheat and steal and do all types of things for finance and romance. Absolutely. Absolutely. If this one fella, I believe out of Chicago, Hayes, you might you might have heard the story. This fella out of Chicago. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can find a story. All right. Let's see. I think this is out of Chicago. It is out of Chicago. All right. So we're gonna share the story right quick. Um, because I remember seeing this story. All right. So, Hayes Blessings, I know you're from uh, Chicago and whatnot. So, this story happened out uh, back in, like, 2014 or 15. And uh, it was this kid. So, his mother owned a beauty uh, salon or whatever the case may be. And uh, I guess she was, uh, you know, discussing the information about the life insurance policy, how much he would get if she was to pass on. So, he set his mother up to be murdered. You understand? So he got away with it for a little while. Uh, what is that? Kwame Wilson. And he was all over social media, flashing money, throwing money out, and all this other nonsense. So you're right about that. People will uh, do their own family members in. People will do a person who they uh, love or claim to love uh, and whatnot and things like that just for money. So you're right about that. So when I seen this story years ago, it always stuck with me. You know what I mean? That you have a, a, a person who's a son. This, the, his mother gave him whatever he wanted. Gave the man whatever he wanted. And yet he still set his mother up for that life insurance policy. You know what I mean? Him, um, Kwame Wilson. I believe this is out of Chicago um, and whatnot. So check out the story when y'all can. All right? TNT News says, um, not going to lie, I was addicted big time to making them holler and, uh, to the dollar back in falsehood. Was a hellbound heathen before I found TOG. Understandable. Definitely understandable. Glad that you came to the uh, the TOG for sure. All right. You, says, uh, you said, Tonex whistleblower on gospel audiences, uh, SMH. I just don't get into people's privacy. I just enjoy the music I like. Mm. I mean that's understandable, but when you see Kurt Franklin, when they when they got social media videos of Kurt Franklin twerking or backing it up or whatever the case may be at concerts, it's right there. You you, you may not be looking for it. You know what I mean? You could just be on Facebook. Let me see if I can find my my cousin because I gotta send him or her a message, or I want to see some you know look at the statuses and you'll see videos. Of TD Jakes dancing at a concert. You understand that? I mean, what would you say about something like that? You know what I mean? <laughs> what would you say? All right. Um, David B says we have to remember that Satan operates behind the scenes. He says, influencing the hearts and minds of men and women everywhere, and the multitude loves it. Absolutely. Let's see. Um Brenda Todd said, it's really sad when these uh, so-called pastors charge money because there are people who really need to know the truth about the Lord. And this is one reason why I stopped going to church, Brenda Todd mentions. All right? AG says, love is easy to find if commitment uh, was not the challenge. <laughs> Listen, that sounds like a line from Mar Lawrence with Jerome. 
if commitment wasn't was not the check okay my fault i apologize i read that wrong my fault my fault i thought you meant if commitment wasn't involved i know i heard some, a line like that somewhere from martin i think so i apologize i read that wrong because you, you got w a all right if commitment was not the challenge commitment uh listen commitment is tough man you understand Com commitment is tough but like i said earlier if two people uh base a you know relationship or marriage on the scriptures um and whatnot granted that you know some people you know talk to individuals um who don't uh i guess believe in what they believe in but they're still have an interest in that person is it a good thing eh. i mean it's up for grabs in the discussion you know what i mean for conversation because people are going to talk to uh individuals uh who they are attracted to whether you know they believe in what they do or not you know what i mean some people are hard-headed that way you know what i mean granted that some people can change over you know and some people don't um at the end of the day for example you know a christian and a muslim you know what I mean? Uh, a Mormon <laughs> and a Jehovah's Witness. You know, of course, there's going to be clashes going on, especially, you know, those who really stand by the scriptures and whatnot, and those who really want to follow and base their whole life and relationship and marriage upon the scriptures uh, and what have you. All right. Uh, David B. He says, we have to remember that Satan operates um, behind the scenes, influencing the hearts of, I think I read that one. It says influencing the hearts and minds of men and women everywhere, and the multitude um, loves it. All right? Let me see. Classified information states that let's not act like some of these bandits are, aren't are out here um, purse watching, too. Gold digging goes both ways. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pocket watching. Gold digging. You know, some women out there, they go look for uh, sugar daddies. Some fellas, some fellas out there go look for sugar mamas. So I definitely understand you. I definitely get it. You know, it, it goes both ways. I agree with you on that one. I'll give you that one. I definitely uh, give you uh, that one. All right. Hey, he says most get married out of the will of God because they have sex before marriage. Most people who just uh, come out of the world still be filled with lust and money. Mm, deep one right there. Money makes uh, the world go nuts, Jen Ju says. What's up to uh, Nicholas White? Shout out to you. AG states that perfect example why parents don't share their financial state with their children. The Menendez brothers. Huh. <clears throat> Deanna Faye says, um, some people uh, does not know how to handle money. It just runs through their hands like water, like others um, can control uh, their money excuse me he says yeah i know that fella he's in pc in jail he got his mom hit over money just said he's in pc i would figure that you know what i mean them inmates in there they hear that story they gonna get him you know so, so the safest thing for him to do is to stay in pc for the rest of his life the man gonna die there you understand the man set his own mother up. That's crazy. Uh, T. Hall says, my mama never could stand uh, Kurt Franklin. <laughs> La original. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> La original on here. Uh-oh. That's a lot original. Uh-oh. All right, Nicholas White says, uh, you says you're more okay. You're talking to uh Khadija. Got you. Sheila Davis says the biggest problem with some men and women, they never uh grew up. I watched parents spoil their kids to the point their brains never caught up with their body. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. AG says these artists, these artists are entertaining the audience, fans, and got nothing to do with me. Okay, I mean, all right. That's how you feel, and hey, that's how you feel. All right. 
Jinju says, um, Titty Snakes was twerking on his wow granddaughter. He says that's dementing and sickening. Wow, I didn't know that one. That's crazy, right there. All right, Henry Ross. He says, Why would anybody give a false prophet a million dollars, a million something dollars for, for a speaking engagement just to find out later that you're on your way to hell? <laughs> You said, is it holy scripture to sue? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Michelle, what's up to uh what's up to Leonard? Leonardo, excuse me. What up, what up, what up? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. To um Leonardo says, What's good, human family? Uh, we just good. We're just over here discussing this uh conversation. Is sex and money two major downfalls? Of people in churches, of course, we you know, we speaking about people non-church and false prophets also, um, and things like that. So if you want to chime in and join in, we definitely um, appreciate it. All right, express. He says money makes the world goes round, and sex makes the world go on a rise. <laughs> oh, man. He says um in Cook County Jail in Chicago, PC is where all the transformers <clears throat> are so that fella most likely partaking in sweet parties if you catch my drift <clears throat> lost his freedom and mom over money <clears throat> yeah that's crazy that's crazy you know what i mean and what got him caught is him flashing money over the internet him him throwing out money to people outside and stuff like that that was the crazy part. You know what I mean? How can a person feel happy about that after they just got their mother hit off just for a few dollars? You know what I mean? All right. What's up? I am a servant. Hope all is well. G Swole, who says, what up, everybody? I don't like how a couple still says their baby is a mistake having sex without protection. That couple is the mistake, not the baby. Oh, I agree. I agree. You understand? Um, individuals have babies out of wedlock. You understand? And um, hey, you make the baby, you got to handle your responsibilities. You know? And uh, I've heard that before, too. Whether, whether, whether I made babies out of wedlock, Hey, I know I have to take care of those kids. Hypothetically speaking, let's just say I have another baby. You know what I mean? I have five more kids. And it's just out there in the public. Now I got 10. You know what I mean? Of course, people will say, wow, you know, he's a hypocrite. He's this, he's that, and X, Y, Z. But to me, them kids won't, I won't consider them kids a mistake. I still have to handle my responsibilities no matter what. Of course, I would come to the people, listen, I apologize and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And things of that nature. I'm a work in progress. I never said I was perfect X, Y, Z. At least take some accountability for mistakes. I don't know why these people out here in the public, ah, they don't do that. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't deem a child or children uh, mistakes if you know if one go out there and have sex because a person could be a virgin right they could be a virgin uh to the age of 40 right make that make have sex one time and have triplets you understand <laughs> and have triplets it's like that and people will mold them to death as if they've been doing that all their life you understand that's crazy. All right. <laughs> oh, man. You said a child of hell that guy is? Absolutely. AG says, remember the Men Menendez brothers killed their parents, then went to the Lakers game. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Um, La Original says, the responsibility of children is a burden to most people. That's why I've never wanted kids. 
I don't have the desire to have children. Never have. Mm. I mean, hey, that's on you. Much respect to your desire um, and things like that. You know, for those who got kids out here, you know, we understand and we take our kids as a blessing uh, for sure. Um, the precious moments that we have with our children, you know what I mean, is golden at the end of the day. This, this is what true parents feel when they raising kids and whatnot and stuff like that. You know, some people may say, I don't want kids and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. Much respect. And it could be vice versa. Much respect over there, too, um, at the end of the day, for sure. So definitely respect your decision at La Original. All right? Um, What if it wasn't consensual? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Amen. <Uh-oh. laughs> oh, man. Now, that right there, I saved that conversation for a minister. That right there, listen, that's for a minister who can back scripture up with that. You understand? What if it wasn't consensual and a baby comes out of that? That's tough right there. That that right there is tough. That right there is a tough um, question. Because I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of people um, have been in that situation, even with men. You know what I mean? Even with men, right? I think it was a story in the scriptures, right? In the Old Testament or something like that. Didn't somebody get their father drunk in the Old Testament? Right? I know some people know that uh, story in the Bible. You know what I mean? Let us know uh, what story that is. I do know it's in the Old Testament, all right? Betty Jenkins says, mother and father, not baby mama or baby daddy. (laughs) Deanna Faye says, I wonder what the world would be like if there was no rich people in the world, only the riches of Christ Jesus. Levy says, they just get mad and tell people they shouldn't judge. Leonardo says, sex without marriage is spiritual fornication, and that fornication will open Many evil, lustful desires, lustful desires can lead us to use money for sex in the wrong places and open uh, wrong doors. Uh. Wow. Jinju says, don't say that. Some of the haters might make a five-hour video video claiming Tony is planning on having five more kids and top of the five on top of the five he's already got. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past you. You understand? I wouldn't put it past you. But a real man, a real father embraces his kids. I don't care if that man had 10 kids at a wedlock. You know what I mean? If he is taking care of his responsibilities, and we will hope that, you know, fellas and women can wait to marriage and things like that. But of course, when you're having kids, you have to handle your responsibilities. Um, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? For sure. All right? What? You said I'm pregnant now and it's a boy. I'm scared. You all right? (laughs) You good? (laughs) Is you cool? You scared? Well, hey, what I want to say on here, I can't. (laughs) You know what I mean? I give it to you how Grandma Nana and them give it to you. You know? But well, we listen, we we going to keep it uh PG-13 on here. The best way we could. For sure. You know? G4 says if you ever find the one, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> will you want to have more children with her? Well, I got 5, man. I got 5. You know, <laughs> I got five. And, you know, the next couple of years, I'll have some adults. You know, um, some people think one, I mean, one kid is, you know, it could be tough um, at the end of the day, uh, for sure. But I would want to honestly relax myself. You know what I mean? I would want to relax, 
when you're dealing with kids, you you you, you have a all day responsibility, even if you are a father and you're not with the mother. You understand? Even if you're in another state, right? You could be in California and she could be in New Jersey. You still have a 24-7 job. Check checking on the kids, making sure everything is copacetic with the school, the behavior, everything, every day. You understand? Every day. Now, kids are a big responsibility. But, like I said earlier, precious moments. Them precious moments, you're in the park playing with your children, you're holding hands, you cherish those moments. Those moments right there are golden. Are golden. All right? So some people, their kids grow up, they be like, man, I miss those times where, you know, he or she was, you know, five years old. Now they're 20. Some people get in those moments, those moods, because they miss those moments when their adult child was four or five years of age. The personalities change over time. You know what I mean? So the five-year-old, she may he or she may be, you know, oh, that's my baby right there. But when they get 20, you don't know how their personality is going to be. Even you could take them to church since they was a baby. You just never know. You know what I mean? You just never know. You understand? But pray to God that they turn out right. All right? You said you're scared, you're scared of parenting. Well, hey, that's on you. That's on that's on you. I don't listen. I don't put my time in already. You understand? You talk about one. I don't put my time in. My time is going in. You know what I mean? You know? So I'm going, I'm going to chill out. So it's nothing to be scared about parenting um, and what have you. You know, you definitely got to be mentally prepared, of course. You know, pray on it and things like that. Speak to a, a God-sent preacher um, about certain things when dealing with kids uh, and what have you. You know what I mean? All right. Um, Jin Juice says, um, I was watching the Menendez Brothers documentary and trial earlier. Those were cold-blooded brothers. Ice in their veins. Wow. You said a lot, daughters. Okay, cool. Um, La Original says, idolatry is spiritual fornication. <clears throat> mm. Henry Ross says, it got to be something we can do if we are not getting results, but the prophets are getting fat. What do we do? <laughs> oh, man. La Original says, pregnancy is a horror film in real life. Well, it depends. It depends. You know, some women go through pregnancy and it's just, it's okay. You know, women have these cravings at times. Come on, hey, blessing, you know, man. You know. You understand? I remember those days. And things like that. You got to get up three in the morning and go out to McDonald's and get some ice cream or go to Walmart. 24-hour Walgreens, you get some potato chips and pickles. You know what I mean? Women got weird cravings during a pregnancy um, and what have you. But some women go through pregnancy, and it's cool. And they have they can have the baby just like that. Some women go through it uh, painfully, hurt. It all depends. It varies um, and things like that. You know, everybody have different experiences. All right? Um, Gino P says, what about them folks who died fornicating? No excuse when meeting the Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you write about that at, uh, Gino P. All right. Died fornicating. Wow. That's crazy right there, man. I remember a story is out of North New Jersey. All right. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> so let me see if I can find this story right here. And I found it too. I remember this story, and this is it, this is in regards to what you had said at uh Gino P. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so it says New Jersey man finds uh his wife and her alleged lover dead in garage from carbon monoxide poisoning. I remember this story. 
out of New Jersey, Nork. You know, they was in the car, in the garage. They had the car running. And guess what? They was doing the do. You understand? Doing the do. They had the car running. And then trapped the carbon uh, monoxide in there, in the garage. It had, it had no way to escape. They had a garage door open for that uh, poisoning to escape. Right? So they both died. Just, a, just imagine that, man. It's scary. You know, I know, I, listen, I, I know a lot of us, when we get caught up in a moment, you're doing a do. You ain't thinking about that. Let's be honest. You understand? When you're out there doing a do, fornicating, committing adultery and stuff like that, you ain't, we ain't thinking about that. But it's dangerous. Like you said, Gino P, it's dangerous. You know what I mean? A lot of us, uh, when we uh, happen to make those mistakes and things like that, we're not thinking with our, with our inner self. We think, we're thinking with this, what feels, what feels good to the flesh. A lot of us, to be honest. All right? So when you said that, that story popped in my head real quick right here at uh, Gino P. All right? Um, Henry Ross states that it's easy to do the do, but always hard to do the work. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> you understand? That's a good one. It says five at 40. Absolutely. And it's a blessing to have kids um, in a sense of you thankful. You're thankful for the time you could spend with your kids when they're young and when they get older. How time just flew. You understand? I got a video of me and my kids when I long time ago on YouTube. Now a few of them about to be adults. How time just flew. Just like that. But those precious moments of me and my sons talking on YouTube show that, you know, we had that connection and whatnot. And what have you. So those moments right there, if you're a parent, you definitely cherish those moments. All right? Appreciate that, um, Leonardo. <clears throat> La Original says, is it okay for a married couple that don't want kids to use birth control? They're, they're married. They're married, so they're not fornicating. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh. That, that question right there, that, that's another one for a minister. You know what I mean? That's another one. That's a, that's a good question, though, right there. That is a good question right there. You know what I mean? I haven't came across... I, I think I haven't came across um, a video of Gino talking about that. I haven't come across that yet. You know, but if I had the video, if somebody know of a video like that, please let me know so we can put it up on the screen. But... I'm, I'm not no preacher or anything like that. Like I always say, I'm limited. I'm limited. And it's, it's couples out there that are married. They don't want to have kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. They use birth control or the man gets a vasectomy, right? Or the woman gets her tubes tied or, or burnt off or whatever the case may be and things like that. Or some woman get the shot, you know what I mean? And things of that nature. I mean, I, I would say that couple need to sit down with a with a holy uh preacher to discuss those things so he could give them scripture uh, uh about that you know what i mean at the end of the day all right levy says my mom uh said after me she was done <laughs> for sure at uh diva for sure for sure <clears throat> tnt news says they look up while after pulling them drawers up and snapping oh oh man uh-oh uh oh, snapping uh, that broad back, and there's the Lord. Wow, just imagine that. That's crazy, right there. That is crazy for sure. All right. Um, he, you says without excuse and knowing what you did is a sin is is a dangerous thing with fornication. Uh, you said being a parent is scary. Well, not really. Maybe, maybe I'm saying because I'm five in and, you know, in the next whatever, 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 you know, they'll be all grown up and what have you. 
And I can remember when I had my first one. I was okay. You understand that? I was okay. I was all right. You know, had a nice little job and I was a responsible person and, and things like that. I was fine. But maybe it was different for the woman. Maybe. I don't I don't know. I don't know how it is, you know what I mean, uh, with some women, how they feel, you know, during their first pregnancy um, and whatnot. It's a good question. It's a good question that, you know, I might ask, <laughs> you know what I mean, later on down the road. Uh, for sure, because I never really thought of that. How, how how did you feel when you found out you was pregnant? Was you scared and things like that? That's a good question right there. Definitely a good question. All right, but it's not it's it's not all that scary to be honest. Maybe I'm saying this because I'm the fella and I ain't, you know what I mean? Y'all y'all do the carrier for nine months or whatever the case may be, and and stuff like that, and the baby kicking and 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 whatnot. You know, maybe maybe because of that. You know, but it could be scary in a sense because some women have uh, died during pregnancy. You know what I mean? Some women have died at the end of the day. All right. So you're right. All right. Um, AG says, parenting is training your child how to be. You said, I believe the Menendez brothers were uh, being sexually abused. That's what they said. You says, giving birth is scary. All that blood and slime. You says, Lord, deliver as well. Listen. I seen it. <laughs> I was there uh, and whatnot. So uh <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it ain't it ain't it ain't too bad. It ain't it ain't it ain't too bad, you know. It ain't too bad. I look I looked at it in the sense of wow. You could look at it in the sense of wow. Look look what the Lord um uh, has created um and whatnot. You know what I mean? Because it's it's of course. Two human beings, you know, do things for that to happen. But at the end of the day, um, it's the creation of the Lord. You understand that? And, you know, definitely you feel thankful. You know what I mean? Because some people, some people cannot have children. You know, some married couples cannot have children. They, they try so hard um, to have children. And um, they just can't have children um, at the end of the day. You know, which which bothers them uh, a whole lot, you know, because it, there's people out there, you know, that want to have kids um, and what have you. I'm, I'm going to try to put this picture up. I'm going to try to put this picture up of, you know, me when I was young, uh, of my uh, first child. This when I was uh, young. <laughs> I was young. I had the braids and everything. I had the earring. I had the uh let me see. This is this is a this is a true throwback. I don't I don't put I don't put up the date pictures of my children on YouTube. I don't I don't do that. You understand that? I don't I don't even do that on Facebook in the sense of to the public. I usually mark it as like uh friends only or family only, or I may put up an old picture and whatnot, but up to date pictures I don't put up. Uh, of my children at all so this one was like this was a, this was a long time ago so this is me you know what i mean this is a long long time ago long time ago you understand that was me i was a young ripper snapper you understand young you know of the first time of uh, having you know a child or whatever the case may be it's not all that bad it's not all that bad you understand? It's not all that bad um, at all, you know? All right. Um, let me see who I missed. He says, becoming one with someone that's not your wife, uh, very serious spiritually. I mean, when you learn about it, yes. But, you know, uh, and I'm not justifying, you know, people going out doing the do with any and everybody. <clears throat> but when people don't care, because it was at a time where as though, I wasn't in church. I didn't care about church. I didn't care about church. I, I didn't think about you no know, spiritual, uh, whatever that stuff was back then and stuff like that. I did not think about it. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I think a lot of us say, listen, I wish we would have came, excuse me, I, I would have hoped we would have came, came across um, the message a long time ago. You understand that? A long um, time ago. All right? 
Jesus Wall says, you think a father should make sure his children that he had uh, a, with a woman is okay with him having children with his wife? Let me reread that. You said, you think a father should make sure his children that he had with a woman is okay with him having children with his wife? What? Nah, dude. Nah. You understand? <laughs> no way. I don't listen. A guy don't need permission from his baby mother to have children with his wife. You understand that? If the scripture says men shall uh, leave mother and father, what does the what does the the mother of his children? Where does she stand at? She's not she's not even important uh, than a mother and father um, at all. But you got a lot of I don't want to say the word baby mama. <laughs> you got you got a lot of uh, mothers out there who think they could dictate what. Uh, the man who who the man could be with and who he could have children with, and they'll try to use the kids as a pawn in chess moves and things like that. But it it don't work that way. Listen, if a man has a wife, and then he has his uh his uh child children's mother over here, she can't tell him, okay, um, you can have kids with her. Oh, is it okay? But out of respect, out of respect, uh, the mother of the children and and the wife should meet and, and talk and have a conversation out of respect you understand that because you want things to be cordial um at the end of the day it's tough it's tough you know what i mean but out of respect i think that that should happen and vice versa you know what i mean all right but no not at all but you got some ratchet women out there i'll take you to court this and that xyz you ain't seeing you ain't seeing jacob you know what I mean? You, you ain't seeing uh, Kevin if, if you don't leave your wife alone. What? How can uh, even vice versa? Some guys out here are spiteful. You know what I mean? To, to the mother of their children. You know, she got a husband now. You know what I mean? He's treating her right. And he lost. He lost out. He lost out and he's upset. So a lot of them are going to be spiteful. Or if the woman don't want to be with the man for whatever reason, because people make their own decisions. They make their own decisions, right? If a person don't want to be with that person, that's their decision. You know what I mean? Listen, you win some, you lose some at the end of the day. It's just like that. It's life. You know what I mean? We be hurt. You know, you cry, you cry, whatever the case may be, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Get over it. <laughs> you understand? Get over it at the end of the day. It happened, it happened to me. Okay, you know, you mad, you upset, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, get over it. You understand? If <laughs> somebody don't want to be with you for whatever reason, get over it. You know what I mean? Uh, they don't make the world go round. You know what I mean? Nobody should be so focused on one person because they don't want to be with you. You know what I mean? Your, your focus mainly should be uh, for God, for sure. You know, of course, if you're married, you know, you would want to work that situation out. If you know what I mean? I'm saying if some because some people don't want to work a marriage out at all at the end of the day, who are not saved at all. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, I missed. <laughs> he says, I think excuse me, he said, I used to think that if I died while on top of some woman would be no better way to go, but I was wrong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's crazy all right lie original <clears throat> you're talking to g swole he says i don't believe in having children out of wedlock and i don't believe in having children by uh more than one person it's a terrible idea and not part a part of god's original plan just my opinion okay Bible Battle says, I wouldn't want to bring uh, uh, kind kids, I guess you mean kids in this world, without having a right mindset. I know I have many years of deprogramming uh, my on mind, on my mind and heart. Excuse me. My upload, lots of God 24-7. Got you. Definitely got you for sure. All right. It says, Dad's cousin went out for his 50th, came home, parked in the... In, 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 Parked car and garage still running. When next morning, wife found him dead. 
Wow. That's crazy right there. All right. What's up, the New Work TV? Shout out to you. PJ spoke on the topic of birth control and artificial insemination. Don't know the broadcast number. I think I know what you're talking about. That one, I think I know what you're talking about with the artificial insemination. Let's see if we can find it right quick. Um, let's see. I, Jew and Perdido got it on his channel. I thought I had it, but we're still going to try to uh, look for it um, and whatnot. All right. Um, La Runa says, I knew a few married couples that don't want kids. They just want to enjoy their life with each other. Mm. All right. Um, hmm. TNT says, life in general is scary. Mm. Ain't that something? What's up to uh, S. Carter? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Uh, Leonardo says, if you're married and don't want kids, but just have SEX, maybe you need deliverance because God's love and character wouldn't deny to have uh, children. You say you're just saying. Leonardo. Mm. Wow. What's up to Betty Jenkins? He says, natural birth is called the rhythm method. Look it up on Google. That's an alternative Alternative, excuse me, for some married couples. Mm. All right. He says, do you get married to have kids or do you get married to avoid fornication? <laughs> oh, man. Man. Now, that's funny. That's funny right there. I think I now I think I can find a video on foreign occasion. I think I can find that uh for sure. That's a, that's pretty funny right there. That's pretty funny. Um I think I got it. Let's see what this one is saying from All right, somebody got this video up. Shout out to this YouTuber. Um Total Restoration so they got the video up of fornication. Shout out to them. All right. Let me see if this is the correct Matthew video. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that Jesus talking. Not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Shall get into God's kingdom. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. All right. You that's living together and not married. You know that's not God's will. No. Right. You know God ain't, you know it ain't the will of God for you two to be shacking up. No. Eh? No, no. You shacking up. She having babies and y'all raising children up in a shacked up house. That's right. <laughs> and then your child, he learned how to shack up because mm -hmm. the daddy shacking up. And he get a woman and bring her in the house with his mama and daddy. And all of y'all shacked in the family. That's right. All shack in the family. Amen. All in the family. The shack house. Amen. <laughs> oh, man. This is funny, man. That's funny. So this video is on her. Uh, fornication and whatnot with uh pastor gino all right <laughs> what's up the mini wall shout out to you uh hope all as well all right we're going to keep it going but let me read some of these comments um and whatnot all right ag says what's wrong with artificial insemination he says still did uh genetics right oh man i, I don't I, I don't even want to nah nah no way <laughs> no way that's right. The shack house, I say. That's right. Glory <laughs> to God. Amen. I want you shackers. Eh? You shackers. Amen. You better get this. That's right. Mr. and Mrs. Shacker. Amen. Amen. You know you know better. Amen. You know you know better. Go ahead. You look at me like I'm talking some foreign language. You know better. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Shacker. That's right. I want to say, Pastor Jenner's out. I, the church I go to don't preach against that. That's why you've been shacking so long. Shacking so long. <laughs> but I want to tie your shack down. Amen. Then I want to huff and puff until I blow your shack down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, God. Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, 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 shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Shall get into God's kingdom, but, but he, he that doeth the will of my Father, that doeth God's will, which is in heaven. You got 
God will to do. All right? Many will say to me in that day. Look at here. Many shall say to me in that day. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name? That's what folks are doing now. Pastor Jennings, I watch you on television every day, and I enjoy it. And All right. I think that's the end of it. I'm not too sure, but we're going to go back to it in a bit. All right? <clears throat> Let's go back to more comments. Um, AG states that friend was having children. They adopted four. Adoption. Mm. Jinju says some couples can't have kids because either the man. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna read that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna read that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, you funny. Um, John Doe, what up? He says young Tony with the do rag. He says I can tell you are from Jersey in that picture. Ah, ah. <laughs> Y'all funny. All right. Um. Bible battle says bringing kids uh, to the world is scary because all the hardship life will bring them. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> he says, I'm sure some troll took a screenshot of that photo with your kid and will make some story up about it. Haters going to hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They probably tried to change the date on it and said I had the baby right now. That's how, that's what they do on here. They 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 try to uh Photoshop the, the, the date and everything. Say Tony Harmon just he just now had the baby tonight. They'll say that too, All right? Um, the interface says I have two daughters that is uh thirty five and thirty seven, and I had an easy birth <clears throat> with uh both of them. That's awesome. La original says uh, having kids by more than one person is a terrible decision. I don't believe blended uh, families are the will of God. Mm. I mean, I agree with you upon, you know, the will and whatnot, but, you know, things happen. Things happen. And it's like you as a father, you know, look at, look at Nick Cannon. You know, he's laying his seed to various women out there. You understand that? Of course, that's not the will. But the man has to take care of his responsibilities. Do I agree with him doing that? No, I don't. I don't agree. You understand? Some people were young. Some people wasn't in the church. Some people didn't care at a point. Now they're in the truth. Now they know. You understand? Now they know the truth. Some people got, <clears throat> excuse me, some people got five uh, fathers. You understand? They got five kids and five different fathers. They was promiscuous when they was young. How could you, how could you still, how can a person, and I'm saying, I'm not saying you do, but one can't look at that person as if they're doing it now. You know, what if they knew the truth back then? Would they have done it? You understand? So some people in it, well, all, all of us, it should be. We should, we, 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 we think about it like, man, if we had known the truth, if we had known the truth back when we was young, if we was humble as we are in these days, would we have done those same stupid things that we've done in the past? You understand? All right. Um, let me see. <clears throat> um, Bible uh battles two, two. All right. G Swole says he says, No, no, should the father um make sure the children are okay with him having children with another woman? That's his wife. I'm still not really understanding uh, what you're trying to say um, at G Swole. You know, if you want to come on here, you know what I mean? You can come on here and elaborate a little bit better at um, G Swole. Just let me know. I'll, I'll put the link out in the chat room. All right. Lyra Rinder says, men love ratchet women, especially church men. They love worldly women. Ratchet women. Majority of the men. Not all. Tony Harvin don't like ratchet women. I'm sorry. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how big your butt is. I don't care how soft your breasts are. You understand that? If you got a stink personality like that, uh-uh. I'm not interested. Never been. You understand? But one thing about even, you know, a lot of women, some women don't like ratchet men. You understand? But I definitely understand what you're saying. A lot of church men do like ratchet women. You understand? They out there. They got their booty shorts on. They're showing their breasts, their cleavage and whatnot. They got their lip, their lip gloss and things of that nature. They got their hair done up and they out there. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You, you go out there and you could just pick one. 
You understand? And it, listen, it ain't that hard to pick up one of them. It ain't that hard to do. You understand? But sh should a man from the church who's really in the truth go after a ratchet woman? Could ratchet woman change? I mean, some can, but that's going to be tough to do. You know what I mean? I wouldn't recommend it at all. You understand? But you got a point. A lot of church men do like ratchet women. You understand? They do like the look that they put on. They do like the way they dress. You understand? They like their pictures on the internet and whatnot. I know of one holiness person, person in holiness and whatnot. I'm not going to say his name. You know, putting up women, you know what I mean? Half naked and whatnot and stuff like I didn't know he was like that. You understand? I didn't know. But we all have struggles. I'm not justifying him at all. Not one bit. You understand? But Tony Harvin, and I'm not putting myself out there at all. You understand? I'm just making a, uh, an example and truth at the same time. You know, so I would say majority of church men, men in the church, like ratchet women. You understand? Because their attitudes, it just makes them look ugly. I can't stand a woman like that. The way they talk. You know what I mean? The, the, the way they walk. Okay, you got a nice little body, whatever the case may be. That don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. All right? But you do have a point at uh, Lot Original. All right? Bible Battle says, if you do bring kids into this world, give them to God. Meaning, raise them, <clears throat> raise them in the Word of God. Oh, I thought you was about to say a Christian or something like that. I thought you was about to say, I thought you was about to say that, because that's what some people do. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, uh, Christian, my baby, we're going to give it back to God. When, when have the baby left God? <laughs> the baby don't understand. You understand? The baby don't understand that. I thought, you was about to, I thought you was about to say something like that, man. That Catholic thing. All right? He says exactly as PJ would say, you ain't that deep. <laughs> All right? Um, let me see if I miss any comments. What's up, the Gladys? Shout out to you. You said so many Nick Cannons and Futures in the world deep, deep diving and leaving skid marks and then bouncing. You're right about that. You're right. Um, Deanna Faye says, and when they grow up and move away, then you have to worry about them. And I know worry, worry, uh, you says worry is a sin. I'm learning to trust God more every day to uh, take care of both of my girls. Deanna Faye. Mm. Mm. He says, what's wrong with artificial insemination? Still their genetics. <clears throat> what's wrong with it? What's wrong with artificial insemination? What? If you have a if you have a spouse, <clears throat> excuse me. Hypothetically speaking, if I have a wife, and people go out there and they do that, they go to the sperm banks and all that other nonsense. Why would I feel comfortable with letting my wife? I'm using it for example. Tony Harvin is not married. Why would I let my wife? Be inserted with another man's semen, sperm, or whatever you want to call it. How can a man feel comfortable with that? How can a man feel comfortable when allowing another man's DNA, liquid, body fluid, be inserted into his wife and feel comfortable about it? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. You understand? I definitely don't get that part. All right? Diva says, when you are in the world, you don't think about these things, and you're going to make a lot of mistakes until you come into the knowledge of God. Absolutely. Absolutely for sure. <laughs> He's a <at> family shack. <laughs> That's for sure. All right? Let's get Amen. Whether you obey God or not, 
You know God ain't made you to be out here like the fool you Go are. Go ahead. Look at you. You've been acting like a fool since a teenager. That's right. Now you're in your 20s and your 30s and 40s, and you ain't found no magic water no. that makes you young again. I don't care how young you feel, right. your soul is traveling to the grave. For ye know what commandments we gave. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and at verse 2. Ye know what commandment we gave you. By the Lord Jesus. By the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. And what? That ye should abstain. That ye should stay away. That ye should abstain from fornication. Stay away from fornication. Now look at you. Look at you. Look at you, viewers. Viewers. You that's in the shack house. Amen. <laughs> hey man, I want to briefly talk to my shackers. Shackers. <laughs> shackers that are shakers. That's right. You know that's not your wife. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's going to bother a lot of us. It's going to bother a lot of people on here who watch, <laughs> who, who watching um, and whatnot. Listen, I'm not excluded. A lot of this stuff hurts me. You know what I mean? A lot of it. You know? <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, oh, boy, man, why Why he got to play this? Why he got to play Gino talking about fornication and whatnot? And he, <laughs> you know? Why Why he got to play this? We were, Listen, we were just about to get it in. And he got, he got to play this right now. All right? Let me see more comments. Um, Henry Ross says, we're not at all in any control of uh, this baby making business. That's all God. And us as men, we just spill the seed and the woman eggs opens up to receive the seed. But God is the one uh, who decides. Mm. He says the Diddy, the Diddy Shack house. <laughs> if you can see on the right hand side. I'm not going to play it. Y'all said the Diddler. Um, they got Michael John White laughs at Diddy called the Diddler. Man, they just they just going in on Diddy left and right. All right. Um, G Swole says if the mother of your children needed a place to stay, having nowhere else to go, but you, would you let her move in with you? He says move in, move in. That's a conversation between uh, the father and the mother. You understand? That's a conversation between the father um, and the mother. And I'm speaking in general. You know what I mean? If the father, um, of course, has his own place. And if the mother is going through something, you know, maybe like a fire or anything like that. Or she loses her job and whatever the case may be. And she has nobody. Nobody to go. No way to go. You understand? So what if the father has a wife? There's been situations, right? The father may have a wife. And the wife allows the mother to come stay with them. That's the type of the relationship they have. Now, I'm not saying, you know, any funny business is going on. You know what I mean? But some people do have kind hearts like that, where though they would allow the mother or the father to, to come stay for for a little while just until they get back on their feet out of respect for this person being a human being and this person having you know their kid or kids at the end of the day but that conversation right there that's a private conversation between the mother um and the father it could go either way you understand at the end of the day it can go either way you know what i mean because some people are in a uh, situation where as though they're married to somebody. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. All right. Um, TNT says Satan fell from heaven and caused much chaos. The Lord turned that and used it for his own good. All right. Let's go back to this video right quick. You know that ain't your husband. You know it's not. And you just stand around and cook for him, you know, in your underclothes, half naked. And he, he just sit around and then he cussed you out and beat you and slap you around. And you sit there and take it from a man who's not even your husband. That's right. That's right. 
That's the price of shacking. <laughs> Amen. You get beat up and slapped around in a black eye. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> did he make it up to you by having fornication, fornication. with you? That's right. Ah! This is the will of God. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. I want you to hear me, brother and sister. Hallelujah. Shacker, shacker, shacker. That's why some of you don't want to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister, this is why you don't want to do it because you're dependent on him. Yeah. Uh, you're depending on him. You're living under his roof and he's buying the food and you don't have a job. So the way you exchange what he do for you is by giving him your body. Give your body to God. That's right. You want to give somebody your body so much, won't you give it to God? Amen. God said, I made you for my glory. That's right. Didn't I say so? That's right. Ah! Amen. But Mm. Some good stuff right there. Definitely good stuff. All right. We're coming to a conclusion. So I'm gonna read off some more comments um and whatnot, and then we're gonna wrap it up. All right. Let me get through these comments right quick. Prodigal Son says, Um, I love godly women. John Doe says, We all did things we shouldn't um have uh before we came to the truth. I smoked, we said drink and fornicated, and I have tattoos. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, Mini Wall says, uh, Nick Cannon is being proactive. He says, Ratchet woman not found a good thing. Mm. Mm. TNT says, Um, do you think there is uh, such a thing as a woman that is too opinionated? What do you mean? Elaborate a little bit more at uh, TNT. All right. Um, Gino P says, It's going to be hard, being a hard thing to change a woman who is for the streets, uh, into a housewife. Mm. Wow. Mini Wall says um, it's called a lust spirit. <laughs> Glad I said, when you buy a car, they place a lady as advertisement. Mm. Wow. TNT. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Jen Drew says, I don't like ratchet women. I prefer classy, Holy Ghost filled, humble, prayer food, covered up, nice teeth, nice feet, smells good, and has a pulse. Is that too much to ask for? Mm. Sheila Davis says, my best friend is raising uh, four of her ex-girlfriend's grandchildren he adopted. Um, three of them two years ago, and they are doing great now. Wonderful. That's wonderful for sure. Lack of common sense are the major downfalls um, in church. Prodigal son. Jen Drew says, I think I know who you're talking about, Tony, with the ratchet woman. <laughs> <laughs> G Swole says, I'm not ready to get on your live yet. Okay, let's say you found the one and you want to have children with her. Do you think it's necessary to make the children you have right now are cool with the first, that first? Huh. And you want, well, you're talking to somebody with five kids. Are you saying if I didn't have none? You know what I mean? He says, do you think it's necessary to make the children you have right now are cool with that first? Mm. He says, what if your children are still only five or younger? What's up to Christopher Span? Shout out to you. I think I shouted you out, right? He said, test two, baby. She was watching House Party. <laughs> He said, test two, baby. Wow. Um, let me see. Uh, Gladys says, it's a good thing having kids and enjoying um, giving love to them. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. That sure is funny. What's up, the Muslim uh, Geechee? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up? To, uh, what is that? BB. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, you said these scriptures hit different. Absolutely. I definitely agree. Khadija Reeves says most definitely waiting on God. I don't, I don't go looking uh, settled in my ways. A lot of men, not all are on the download or bisexual. You can tell uh, when a man hates on a woman for no reason. Mm, that's pretty interesting all right um let me see 
TNT says, if the first parent is of the devil and the step parent is walking in the truth of God, that step, that step parent is a blessing. What's up to Sister Claire? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Muslim says, uh, I was blessed to meet Apostle Gino Jennings. And now I know that he was sent by God. I was living in the in the hood, Mobile, Alabama, and he was a blessing. Jennings has been to a lot of places, for sure. Uh, appreciate that, at Sion, uh, for excuse me for the support of this YouTube channel. It's a great blessing. I thank you for that. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and your family. Uh, to Sion for that. Definitely appreciate that. What's up, the Master Wu? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Hope all is well for sure. What's up, the Dean Nicole? Shout out to you. Jen says, light sparring in the chat. Ding, ding. All right. We're coming to a conclusion. This was a good topic for sure. You know, I thank everybody for coming on. Uh, regular conversation number 33 tomorrow. You know, Lord willing, we'll be on tomorrow with 34. With some more good conversation definitely appreciate everybody out there i hope everybody uh have a good uh night tonight you know what i mean if i didn't uh read your comment off uh please forgive me uh, i try to read as much comments as i can um and what have you said part two <laughs> he said part two part two pretty interesting for sure part two on this topic i definitely would think about that tonight uh, bringing part two on for tomorrow. We'll definitely see about that um, tomorrow. But it's a definitely, I definitely appreciate everybody for coming on. I know the trolls and was probably low riding, listening and whatnot. But you know, as always, God bless to everybody out there. I hope everybody have a wonderful night. Definitely appreciate everybody uh, for commenting. Uh, God bless to all the new subscribers coming to this YouTube channel. Is uh, definitely uh, a blessing. You know what I mean? Definitely a blessing. Uh, for having you guys on here uh, for sure. I'm Tony Harvin. I'm signing off. May you all have a wonderful evening. I'm out. Peace. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to the Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell.